Howdy, 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 my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading, Sagittarius, for July 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, darling, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates. That's how I keep up with you guys, and it's nice to hear uh, other humans from across the screen that are consuming my tarot readings. As well, Sagittarius, uh, if you haven't already, darling, give this video a like and subscribe if you do enjoy my vibe, or just this tarot reading, darling, all right? It's completely free to do, and it helps me out a lot, all right? Uh, be sure Sagittarius, uh, even after you consume this July monthly tarot reading, all right, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. That's how you make these general tarot readings work out for your zodiac sign, is by catering the energy to your chart, all right, darling? So enough of that. Let's get into your tarot reading here today, Sagittarius. We're going to be getting into three rows, your career and financial situation for July, and then your social. This could be romantic, platonic, business, family, social life, and then just some general predictions for you, Leo, or Leo, Sagittarius. So let's just jump right into this tarot reading here, darling, right? I always say y'all are like my children, Sagittarius. Sometimes I confuse all 12 of y'all's names, sometimes get them confused, right? So y'all have to just give me some grace with that, hopefully. So taking a look with your career here, Sagittarius, all right? You have the Queen as well as the Two of Wands here, as well as the Ten of Swords, all right? Tens representing closures to cycles, all right? You're closing out. June for you seems to, reads off to me, darling, that it was pretty rough, all right? I feel like for you guys you guys were taking care of loose ends so it's like but i feel for you this is such a positive thing for your career because it's like giving you the sense of freedom it's giving you the sense of uh wanting to uh, do more wanting to ask more questions here right you sagittarius i feel like for the month of july are going to be uh building the roadmap right building the blueprint or the pink print darling how you doing barb um building the blueprint for how you want to be chasing after uh something just that you personally feel passionate about for your career here i feel for many of you guys uh you are feeling drawn to be quitting your job not saying to quit your job, darling, but I feel as if for you guys, you're interested in finding a way to supplement your income through other means that are more fulfilling for you, uh, Sagittarius, all right? And I feel like July is going to be a really solid month for you guys here, all right? You're going to be able to start spreading your wings more, Sagittarius. I get like this message as well for many of you guys here, that the more that you lean into this Queen of Wands energy where it's like... You'll feel as if like the universe around you is playing the yes game. If you don't know what the yes game is, Sagittarius, it's like you, parents will do this with their kids sometimes where it's like they, the parent can't say no. And I feel as if that's how your career is going to be going for July is where it's just like, as long as you ask the question, the answer is going to be yes. All right. It's not going to be handed on a silver platter, of course. Right. But it's like for you, I feel like you'll be pleasantly like I just see tr trumpets. All right. I see celebrations. I see parades because you've reached this Queen of Wands energy here, uh, Sagittarius. All right. So your career looks really, really solid, darling. So now let's take a look at your social life here. All right, Sagittarius, what's going on socially for you in July? Mm -mm. All right, pentacle energy, page of pentacles in the back of the deck here, as well as the ace two is then and then the eight of pentacles. All right, Sagittarius. So for your social life here, evolvement, engagements, all right, you're going to be getting to know certain people that you felt initially distant towards that you didn't know how to further pursue Sagittarius. All right. I feel like for you, again, it feels as if like June was a really rough, rough month for you, Sagittarius. All right. And I feel like for you in, in uh, July, you're going to be very fulfilled with your social life. I feel as if everything's going to be extremely grounded. All right. Communication seems to be really solid. It doesn't feel as if you're being left uh, to have to play like any type of guessing game when it comes to your social life here or constantly wondering like um, the complicate, like your relationships just feel less complicated and more forward. Does that make sense? Like you're no longer trying to like it just feels very uh uh black and white not black and white but cut and dry i think that's what i mean by that. this is very cut and dry all right i do see with this page of pentacles in the back of the deck here for you 
Sagittarius, you might be receiving communication from, from some new people here, but I feel as if that doesn't really develop until uh, next month, but you do want to pay attention to those connections, darling, because that page of pentacles had someone extending out their pentacle to you, right? Ace of pentacles here, all right? Just as a side note for some of you, you know, I if I was reading this for myself, Sagittarius, even though this is in the social aspect, I would still read it because of all that pentacle energy, darling, and the eight of pentacles, that promotion energy, um, you either might be making friends with someone in the work place or this person that you start developing a connection with helps elevate you for your career environment financial situation or what have you all right that's just how i would read for myself darling take it or leave it all right so now let's make some general predictions for you darling all right sagittarius <clears throat> mm, three of swords in the back of the deck darling and then we have the strength as well as the devil and then we have the seven of cups stepping forward for you uh, uh. You are identifying the snake in the grass here. I feel like for you, the month of July is going to force your hand into decisions. It's like you you got a little bit, like you always have been able to identify, Sagittarius, the devils in your life, right? The devils, like the shady people in your workplace, the snakes in your family, who you can talk to, who you can actually truly tell your secrets to. You kind of know who, which friends that you can open up to comfortably as well, um, right? In your social circle. All right. But July seems to be a month where you're going to be having coming to confrontation with some of these devils in your life. And I don't feel like it's just in a social aspect. I don't feel like it's just in a career aspect. I feel like for you guys, Sagittarius, you guys are going through a process where it seems like your spiritual team is very disinterested or just doesn't like having this devil energy be in your space anymore here all right and so be anticipating that all right darling but uh seems to be over you know it sounds to be pretty scary <laughs> honestly here's Sagittarius it does it kind of sounds intimidating but I'm pretty confident with how things are going but we'll clarify that later uh anyways Saji let's get back into this career financial situation for you ten of swords queen as well as two of wands here for you darling all right this is again the sense for you Sagittarius it's like the more that you are willing to ask you know, the more that you're going to be told yes here, all right? I see for you guys, like, it truly feels as if June was a month of just dealing with conflict after conflict, healing a lot of things. And I feel like July for you, not only just in your financial, but I feel like just social, like, everything seems to be... Um, starting to relax for you uh Sagittarius for July so that makes me really happy to see but um and it's almost the sense that you have this sense of freedom now with this queen of wands there as well to just be more vulnerable um and to go after things that you normally wouldn't go after beforehand high priestess energy as well as the five of swords and queen of swords here okay so for you sagittarius this seems to be more so speaking in terms of the dramas of like workplace environments here to be honest sagittarius so this is definitely not going to be for everybody but definitely for those that are in some type of draw dramatic type of relation or environment when it comes to your soul work life darling you are very on like you are very in tune with what's going on sagittarius all right and you need to make sure that you're keeping your distance here um there's like this sense there's just like this looming sense of like there's like this seed that's been planted in your head about your financial situation or your job and um excuse me i'm trying not to burp <laughs> in y'all's ear um especially with this high quality mic honey y'all don't need to be hearing this burps in high detail um i don't know there's like this bad it's like this bad egg this bad seed similar to that devil that i was just talking about in predictions it's like there's something that you just do not have a good feeling about honor those thoughts more all right now i know you know i'm not always like a sunshine and rainbows type of reader uh, Sag sagittarius as some of y'all already know so i'm not going to sugarcoat things but i'm not saying that something's bad going to happen this is more so telling you sagittarius is honor honor the thoughts that you're having at this time don't just ignore those red flags right considering what we just pulled for you for your predictions that strength and devil energy you're going to be coming face to face with the things that you already knew were red flags and that you needed to change all right so whatever that manifests for you in each of y'all's personal lives right because uh, numerous of y'all are consuming this tarot reading right Sagittarius um take that as you will going into your social life ace of pentacles two as well as the eight of pentacles coming in darling for you Sagittarius again I get like this sense for you like social life it feels as if you're going to be feeling 
very uh secure there and that front you seems it seems to be very like you trust you can trust the people that you're around here empress energy even in the back of the deck here all right and so some of you guys might be uh working on your relationship with your twin flame or soulmate darling all right i'm not here to tell you if your relationship is a twin flame or soul flame because that's something that you should personally be able to feel darling all right but some of you guys might be working on uh your connection with them all right so if you already feel like you've met them some uh already darling you're going to be there's something during the month of july that y'all are going to be working on together in a positive way though with this justice energy here all right uh now with this four of cups here some of you guys are this is like a missed connection that's what i feel for this it's like a missed connection start paying attention to who starts popping up in your life in july i feel like someone that you haven't really had too much thought about perhaps but it's just like there's like someone that spirit really wants you to re-engage with that you close the door on or maybe you just at the time when your your path crossed with this person um Sagittarius that it just wasn't the right time you didn't have the energy or as whatever but it's like there's someone that's returning in your life that's going to be more relevant in the month of July that spirit seems to be wanting to let you know to uh focus in on the energy tend to that energy a little bit all right uh see what it has to say see what it has to offer now getting back into your predictions here sagittarius all right the strength as well as the devil with the seven of cups here all right you're going to be coming face to face with you know as i just said face to face with the devils in your situation in your life here but the thing about it is after delving into both your career and then your social life here sagittarius i feel very positively about how this battle is going to be going for you darling all right i feel like you do manage to overcome the devil here you overpower the devils in your life you know it's almost as if like the reason why some of you sagittarius have been so um so laid back when it comes to addressing these devils in your life sagittarius is that you've always known about it and you've known if you were to ever apply yourself sagittarius that you could get the job done and it would be handled but it's just it just never you just never dealt with it because like you would rather do other things that's what i feel like is going to be going on for you like i'm not worried in the slightest sense for you sagittarius i feel like this is just like the inevitable battles the inevitable battle battles that you knew you were going to be having with these devils right and you were prepared for it for the most part right it's just like now you have to like that's i think what it is it's like now you have to make the time for it now you have to address it right <clears throat> because it's getting a little bit too obnoxious here the seven as well as the nine of wands with the four of swords clarifying this here so yeah so yeah this is healing for you here right you come out you re, you come out victorious here sagittarius all right you come out victorious you emerge victorious here as that wounded warrior all right you have a lot of <laughs> again like i don't know what's going on here sagittarius but this kind of speaks on just like you like a lot of people tried you a lot of people doubted you but you still proved them all wrong is this speaks on like for like a friend group dynamic workplace dynamic like it's group dynamic is this like family proving family wrong or something i don't know um but it's like these battles that you have with these devils that you just never have clicked with like you emerge victorious with this and you remain intact for source like you get the closure you get the healing so that's why i'm not really concerned about it sagittarius it's more so for you you're gonna just feel inconvenienced because of how much time it initially consumes from you all right so that's what i got on that sagittarius now let's get into your oracle cards before you close off your monthly tarot reading here all right i hope this tarot reading gave you some clarity sagittarius all right and thank you if you're listening up until this point deadly all right how did this reading resonate this is a really kind of a weird energy right but i'm still pretty optimistic for you guys all right you have the take a reality check full moon and capricorn here i mean that's really the, i mean this is kind of in different words darling but the, i feel like the reality check for you is just like you some of you sagittarius are taking the keep your enemy friends close but your enemies closer a little bit too well darling all right y'all have been letting some somebody make too many sly remarks and you've let it slide by a little bit too many times and it's coming face to face with that there again it's like the sense of like the inevitable is happening like you already know what's about to be going down <laughs> Sagittarius first quarter moon in Aries very appropriate for you stepping into your power darling 
Sagittarius, I like this a lot. Again, this is more so just an affirming card for you, Sagittarius, that you are going to be emerging victorious, darling, with this here. You just have to step in your power, and this goes into alignment with uh, the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, because the Nine of Wands is the one that's, I mean, they are the, the, the wounded warrior because, like, try as they may, like, people try to take them down, but they emerge victorious still, right? So it's like, you just have to tap into that power. You have to tap into that Nine of Wands power, honey, all right? Right? You have to go deeper, darling, right? With this new moon in Scorpio, y'all have to go deeper, honey, all right? Um, this is really going to be a month for you, uh, Sagittarius, where you wake up and smell the roses, but in a positive way here, all right? I feel as if for you, like the games are over, the, the delays are done, all right? The things that you pushed off into the corner, the things that you've kind of just like pushed off to the side, you're going to be addressing it because you have big ambitions, you have big goals as a queen of wands, darling, right? And so for you to fully feel in that queen of wands energy, Sagittarius, you have to come to face to face with these devils, all right? right and you're gonna emerge victorious all right it's nothing that you can't handle and it's nothing that you already don't see coming all right you're smart you're intelligent Sagittarius so you know how to handle yourself but um yeah darling Sagittarius that's this is the monthly tarot reading that I have for you for July thank you so much for allowing me to do this remember darling if you want to book a private reading with me go to my website down below simply Velkin. Dot com is next on my social media so if you'd like to connect with me Sagittarius on a more intimate level Instagram and TikTok are both simply Velka same as here and hopefully Sagittarius I can connect with you sometime in a future video I do weekly tarot readings as well for your zodiac sign so come say hi sometime darling all right bye Sagittarius